How fast can I speedrun the entire season pass, getting all of the way to 2600 points and unlocking the hero skin? Welcome back to the channel then guys, I'm your host Judo Slaw. How fast can I speedrun the entire... Oh, what have we completed? Did it automatically clear that? I, like, what? <laughs> Since my base is fully maxed, there are no walls to complete. So here's what we'll do. I need to start at zero points. So we will minus off that 100, which means in order to complete the season pass, we need to get 2,700. The first thing to do is enter code JUDO in the settings. It's where you can support me, always much appreciated. And let's purchase the gold pass, pretending we have zero points. Gold pass received, so let's start the time it will be on your screen and we need to make sure we get all of these now first things first clearing the obstacles that is super easy in the builder base you can go ahead and remove the tall grass i should have just moved a building over these okay never mind i could have saved a few seconds but the first one is received and i think what we should do is complete all of the tasks which require a set of troops so i've actually already gone ahead and built up a lot of the troops let's go with the freeze spell for the clan games because that is one of the spells we have already brewed up, ready to go. I've dropped trophies to hopefully find matches a little bit quicker that we can easily beat. So here we go. We need to use a Pekka, a Hog Rider, a Freeze, and we actually need to use a bunch of super troops. That's why I have those. Oh, we need the clone spell as well, and we can get out of there. Clan games task completed. Let's go. Okay, wizard. Let's get a wizard in there. Uh, looks like the archer was on that menu as well so let's do this let's just gem that wizard up and yep we're good to go i planned the specific tasks i was going to complete and the order i would do them for the speed run but you will see there is always something that catches me off guard oh no everything's going around are you joking royal champion go to the town hall not what we needed ah Queen's on the town hall. Beautiful. This is the third victory. We need eight in order to complete this. And thanks to the hero extra life, it's definitely going to help us in terms of speeding up our progress. We're getting through the clan games super, super fast. Ace spell. Let's add that to the menu. Ace. Let's just complete that. I'd say things were going pretty good at the moment. I was obviously trying to focus on a lot of different tasks, but just get some of the easier ones out of the way first. Feel free to subscribe if you are enjoying this one. I try my best to bring you the best possible videos that I can, and not a huge proportion of our viewers are actually subscribed to the channel. Just get the uh, super troops down so we know the super troop one is done. Freeze a clone. There's the dark elixir and knocking out the queen statue, isn't there? So let's just push my heroes in at the top. Use all of the abilities. There's the storage, so that will go down. Queen levels, level 30 is not the most ideal, but I think that's all of them done. Wall wrecker! Use that wall wrecker! Where is it? There we go. We've got a star. Let's get out of there and let's check the progress because I think that we're on to 28 notifications already. Can you believe that? Wow! <laughs> Let's look at the points going up. That was beautiful. And how far through this are we? Not quite halfway yet. That's most of the troops and spells. In fact, it's all of them. We still have to do deploy troops. Super troop one is done, so we don't have to worry about that. But we've got air sweepers, builder huts, grand warden statues, and the dark elixir storage. And games, let's go to the clan games. Why don't we do the builder base? So we've got a Sneaky Archer, Night Witch, Raged Barbarians, Gem Mine. Let's see if I can remember all of that. And I've dropped trophies in the Builder Base as well, so hopefully this is a little bit easier. Archer, Barbarian, I guess it doesn't matter on the other things, we just need the Gem Mine. And perhaps this is something I could have been doing in between, because for the Builder Base, I'm going to be slowed down by my opponent and waiting for them to finish the attack. Looks like Adam has maybe even quit the battle. I don't even need to win the attack, do I? So let's get out of there. That was beautiful. And let's do the same again. Clan games, is that 1,000 points? I think it is. No, it's not. 80% from versus battle. This will complete the clan games achievement that we need within the season pass, and that's all we want. So where's the gem mine? It's down the bottom. Let's just spam the troops in as long as we have the Barbarian, Archer, Night Witch, and we get a star. 
That is all we need. It's so funny just spamming everything into the builder base because that is typically what I do anyway. Oh, we didn't get the 80%, but we will get that next time. So we're looking for Dark Elixir Storages, Queens. This queen is near the outside of the base, so I think I should just drop my queen and take that out. Where is the Grand Warden though? Not sure. Not even going to take time scanning around the base. Let's just get back out into the attack. As I continued to try and micromanage the different tasks, it was certainly testing my skills. The home village, the builder base, using different troops, the clan games, destroying set buildings. It was actually super fun, and I couldn't believe the progress we were making, even though we were literally just over 10 minutes in. Let's take a look here, because we don't want to do too many tasks. We need the raged barbarians, and we still Still need the gem mines but the other ones in the main village that's where it's going to take a little while because we have to complete all of these it's pretty easy to take archer queens on the outside of the base sometimes even the grand warden look but the dark elixir storage air sweepers they are typically in the base so we might have to start hitting the bases full on, but I think for the moment, as long as we continue to just take away as many of the challenges as possible, it means we can then focus on set challenges rather than trying to concentrate on, for example, 10 tasks at the same time. I didn't even look to see if we took the gem mine. Did we take the gem mine? Where was it? It was, yes, down to the bottom. So I'm presuming we took that down. That's where I'm almost going too quick for myself. This one is perfect. Look at this. Fantastic. A good progress base for us. And we should be able to get everything here. Let's just use the baby dragon on the outside to try and speed this up. Where's the dark elixir storage? Did we get it? Maybe I should use this clone spell since I don't need that anymore. And I can potentially cook up rage spells, which should probably help us. Oh, lightning spells. I've just noticed that. We could use lightning spells in order to take air sweepers in the center of the base. That might help us. There's the builders done though. So now... We are just about halfway through. Remember, for some reason, we got given the 100 points at the start, which pretty much ruined this entire video and what I had prepared. Thank you, Clash of Clans. But we are halfway through the challenges. Oh, collect from the mines. I can't do that because I'm a maxed player. So that's 200 points. 600 points right there that I cannot do. No strategy, just spam everything in. Look at all of those hog gliders together right onto the crusher. All we need is the star for the barbarian and the gem mine. Get to the gem mine, get to the gem mine. One archer is smart and knows what to do. Thank you, let's go. Back to the main village. Whilst our opponent wastes a little bit of time. We've got a Grand Warden statue. Is it worth it? I guess let's just do that alongside. I quite like lightning the sweepers, particularly when they are together. Definitely gives us a little bit of efficiency. Things were starting to slow down as we were checking the easier tasks off the list, but I was still confident that we were going to get a good time. What type of base is this? Okay, we've got DE from that side. We've got the Queen and the Grand Warden statue from this side and sweepers. We've got one there. Oh, we've got one here. That's beautiful. Once I've got the DE storage, I think I should just get out of here. Let's go. Come on, let's get this builder base out of the way and then I know I don't have to focus on it. Oh, the gem mine's in the corner, but we still need to get the victory. That would have been terrible if I had been caught out by the gem mine in the corner. Obviously, they want to win the attack. I just want to get the gem mine in the 50%. I think that's it. There we go. Look at it. Wow, we're at the 20% already. Can't believe that. We've got just over 1,000 points to go. So we need to get this one. We really need to take down all of these. Destroy 1,000 walls in versus battle. No, I did not see that. Oh, we could have been doing that the entire time with bombers. There's always something that catches me out. <laughs> that actually looks pretty cool. Is this going to three star? <laughs> I know that I dropped trophies. Whoever logs back in here is going to be sitting thinking, is mass bombers actually a thing? That is the definition of a perfect perfect. I literally wiped out every single wall within the base. How many was that? 100 wall pieces. So we do have to do that 10 times. 
Oh, whenever I do challenges like this, there is always something, one little pesky thing that catches me off guard. But I still have a trick up my sleeve that I'm yet to reveal, and it costs a few gems, but it's going to help me out drastically. Okay, this builder base task with the walls is adding a little bit of time, but it's honestly not too bad because I'm pretty much able to wipe out all of the walls and do that in between the other tasks. But I do want to relook at this. We're nearly at the end of the queen, the sweepers and the grand warden statue i think we can skip the dark elixir storage as long as we donate troops now i already went ahead and requested a couple of times on don't have the one gem donation active thank you for the message this was the new feature added to clash of clans and there we go i've got it okay on my phone on my other account let's just continually request this oh i didn't drop the troops what is Complete. <laughs> well, that cost me a few gems. 32 gems to re-request. That's not too bad, to be honest with you. This is definitely going to be faster, I feel, than completing the Dark Elixir one, because I can just delete the troops off this account, then re-request, and there we go. Pops back up, and hopefully, is that it? Yes, it is! Okay, where are we at? We're closing in. Remember, we need 2,700, so we need another 900 points. Now, that sounds like a lot. It's one third of the overall points we needed, 2,700 in total. But many of the tasks were nearing completion. And be honest with me, did you expect I would get this far this quick? I certainly didn't. I had no idea how long this would take. It's not even worth pushing in for the Archer Queen on this one. She is only three levels, but I think it was the amount of Grand Warden statues. It wasn't the level. There's the Sweeper one done. We're close to closing in on the Archer Queen and the Troop Deployment. We've got 10 more Grand Warden statues. We need this one. This one, actually. 200,000 from a multiplayer battle. So we do have to keep our eyes out in case we find a huge loot raid to just take it. And then that one is done. Does this count towards the Grand Warden statue one, even though the Grand Warden isn't technically there? I'm intrigued. Maybe in the power of video editing, we can check what this number was last time. This is slowing us down significantly right now. Hmm, could we actually push in and get the gold on this one just to make sure that we complete that achievement? I think let's do it. Let's just push all of our troops in because this is a severely underleveled base. We should be able to get in and get that gold relatively easily. Come on, speed it up. How much have we got already? That's it. That's it. That's got to be it. 265. We got pretty much all of it. So that is the task done, the troop deployment done. We're closing in on the finish. But remember, we need to get an extra 100 points. So we are literally 540 points from completing this. And we're only 35 minutes in. I am so surprised as to how quickly we have been able to do this. I had no idea. I'd left my account for weeks on end in order to set this up and I've never tried it before. I thought it might have even been hours, literally hours to do this, but I'm pretty happy as well. I can't forget about this builder base one. I am sure if I did this again, I could be a little bit more efficient because it's not like when I speed ran the clan games and you're focusing on one task at a time. We're trying to complete so many different different tasks all together. But either way, you know that I love making the Clash of Clans videos and this one potentially we do in the future again because I'm loving it and we're not even done yet. This is what I like to see a dead base that we can just take that Archer Queen down with. Archer Queen done. We need seven Grand Warden statues and the walls and then I think that's it. 150, 350 and we need 340 points so this is it we've got two tasks left to go the grand warden statue and these builder base walls and we are done i'm honestly i've been taking lightning spells and earthquakes i'm considering just doing that for all of the grand warden statues because whilst it might cost a few gems it's going to be super quick let's see that i've got them lightning Let's just go. Let's just go. Let's get out there. Didn't we need seven or something like that? If it's close to the edge, we can use our heroes, be a little bit more efficient. But if it is in the base, where is it? There it is. I'm not even going to I'm not even going to mess around. Let's just get it out. Okay, the Grand Warden one is 
firing up pretty quickly, I feel. But this one with the walls might be what we end up doing last. So let's remember to get to the builder base. Come on. Come on, bombers. Imagine if they were like wall breakers and they just went straight for the walls. We might even complete both of these tasks around about at the same point. And we might even get a perfect perfect here as well. Come on, bombers. Take out the wall. Take out that wall. That one piece of wall to get the perfect perfect. Oh, no. We missed. What? Oh, the gem mine's up there. Let's go. Do I wait? No. Yes, we've done it. Four Grand Warden statues. That's it. There it is. Let's just get the lightning spells in. I don't even know how many is required, but that was it. It was destroyed. We just need to get back to this menu. Go, 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 go. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, we went to the builder base. My game is lagging. I'm trying to go that quick. Pressing too many buttons. It cannot keep up. Hey, there's the Grand Warden stash. It's right in the middle of the base. Come on, put them to the edge so that I don't have to use the lightning spells. It's a little bit more efficient for me. But let's do this. Uh, how many have we got? I don't even know. I don't even know. I'm just too excited that we've done this video so quickly. I really wish that... Well, actually, I shouldn't wish for that. What I was going to say is I wish it didn't automatically complete the points that we could not do. How it gave us that 100 at the start. You've seen on my channel that my base is maxed. I did it months ago. I could not upgrade those walls. So it's a little bit unfortunate that we didn't go from 0 to 2600, but this is it. All we needed to do was get to 2700 to offset it. And is this it? I think that was a 200 point challenge. It is the hero skin. 2700 points in 40 minutes from the bottom to the top of the gold pass and if you want to see when i speed around the clan games i referenced that earlier it's on the screen with the subscribe button you guys take care and i will see you in the next video